Hi everybody, Kelvin here from London. My channel is about reviewing vintage equipment, which these aren't, but I've got them. And uh, this is actually a re-review, because I actually have reviewed these ones before. So we're going to review these Kef LS50s. Uh, uh, I've got this here because just because I was playing, I was swapping between the two and other speakers. Uh, now there'll be some references to those. Um, so I did review these maybe three months ago, something like that. A lot of people in the comments said, you're not being fair. You, you need to give these speakers a ton of watts, like 50, sorry, 100 at least. I think you're not meant to put more than 100, but people do, you know, as long as you're not cranking it up. But uh, people said, you're not being fair to these speakers. They need more power. They really want power. So I thought, OK, fair enough. So I got more power. And I can't, so basically, I'm going to just do the whole review. I'm just going to review them from scratch with more power. And it'll be different to my last review, which person, I've got to tell you, I haven't actually even re-watched yet because I just want to do it. I just want to do a fresh review. And, you know, whatever discrepancies there are, if there are, you know, that's just the way it is. So, uh, you know, I think that's the most honest way. So uh, just to do the uh, <coughs> amplification with these, I put on Quad 520F, which is like a Quad 909, but it's like a studio version. And also I use a Quad Elite, which is power amps. Quad uh, 5 at 520 is 100 watts, and the Quad Elite could, I think it might be 140, it might be 100, 140, very, you know, pretty damn powerful. And I used a Lin Wakanda and an Arkham Alpha uh, CD player, yeah. Okay, so, you know, first thing I would say is compared to if I put these on with like, you know, a 30 watt thing, yeah, 30 watts of power. With 30 watts, it's like the mid-range, it doesn't get hold of the mid-range, yeah? I would say that is true. Um, so that, that was probably my biggest complaint with the weaker amplifiers. The mid-range just didn't sound right, you know? Think, you know, snare drums didn't sound right. Uh, but, you know, this is kind of a, you know, a curious design with the uh, tweeter in the middle. And, you know, it's pretty damn small, to be frank with you. So, um, you know, anyway, it seems to have characteristics that it likes power. Uh, just to say, you know, these are brand new. You can buy these new today. I just looked it up. £650. They're ported at the back. You know, they're black. Let me tip. Let me, uh, I'll give you a quick look at that. You know, whatever they call that. Piano black. There's the port shiny you know good looking i think you would say and pretty like something out of uh you know you know star trek or something you know they, they look good and i mean weirdly because of the sound they make which is quite big yeah quite big in the bass you find yourself looking at them going this is a lot of bass for a small speaker you know and uh, but but it's sort of in the end, in the end I just shut, I just shut my eyes you know because I thought well, it doesn't matter that it's not that big but you kind of like it's kind of impressive in that way you know if you played if I brought someone around and said listen to this and they'd probably look at them and go oh wow that's incredible coming out of those little boxes you know so but uh, you know that's not the point I don't mind how big they are myself anyway. Um, let me go into the sound. I'll do it generally, and then I'm going to go into a lot of detail. And then I'm just going to give you a whole bunch of things that aren't linked up, uh, which because I think it will just help you get the picture of what these speakers sound like. Um, uh, you know what? I'm going to do the last bit first. I'm going to do it like this. These speakers. This is a stream of consciousness or whatever you want to call it, right? First thing is initially impressive, initially very impressive, big bass, accuracy, detail. The bass is a bit one note, 
Yes, it's a little bit one note. And what I mean by that is when the bass player goes ding 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 boom. Here it's a bit more boom boom boom. You know what I mean? It's not really got big. The bass is there. The bass is really there. But it's just kind of lacking in a bit of lucidity. And you just sort of, you know, it's hard to groove, you know. They're very analytical. Let me keep going with my uh, stuff like this. Certain music would sound great on these speakers. Certain music won't sound great. Spartan music. The sort of music people play to make stereo sound good. And, you know, I kind of, I do that too because, you know, but, you know, well-recorded, good singers with Spartan musicians. Busy, busy music probably doesn't sound so good on here. And that, that's true of a lot of hi-fi, really. This turns on my analytical brain, yeah? I find myself, you know, as I've done all these reviews in the last six months, I've been changing speakers, amps, all sorts of reviews, da 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 like listening to so much different stuff. Something starts to emerge, really, that I have not articulated before. And that is, it's like some things just get you in an emotional way. Good, you know, not inaccurate things, you know, and, and you just sort of, you're happy. And other things just get you being analytical. They just get you being analytical. These got me being analytical. And they're very accurate. They've got a lot of detail. You know, I don't think I've got a small, I've heard many speakers you know, for the amount of info, fine detail you get in these. Well, you know, the only time I get big detail like that is when I've got these huge, I mean, huge KEF 105, big three-way things. Those are the only other ones that where I can really hear fine detail, you know, little things that you sometimes wouldn't be able to notice exactly what they are. So they are very detailed. Um... What else? The space in the recording. So it's all detailed, it's focused, the sounds are all there, lots of detail. The treble, the top ends, you know, the top ends coming right out of this middle. I don't think that is the greatest way, but point is the, the sort of things that are in the, the space between the instruments, which is in the very top end, like the room everyone is in. You know what I mean? Like just the air between the sounds. It's not quite there. All the detail is there, but the spaces are kind of like voids. Do you know what I mean? Or black. Do you know what I mean? Uh, so I put here detail, yes. Involvement, not enough. Not enough for me. Uh, so I, I do do some song music. I do do some of the people I listen to. And I, I, I'm always doing this thing, the Eagles, uh, Take It Easy, because it's just got all these human voices in. And that is such a great test. And I can't actually find a better song to, uh, to, to uh, that is better than that one. And... The bass was pumping away on that song. You know, the bass is big. It's kind of, that's so much, it's detailed, but it's maybe you might call it fat or, you know, a bit, a bit plump, you know what I mean? But it's pumpy, it's going on, you know, and but it, you're just missing a bit of the notation. You know what I mean? And this is the sort of the glory of that bass moving around, but you are getting the, the beat going on. Uh, so, Eagles, the voices just weren't that good. The voices weren't that good. And that's where I think the sort of treble issue here is, you know, letting it down. If you didn't have a bunch of voices, if you just have one bloke singing with a good, strong voice, you probably think those speakers are just great. Yeah? So they're kind of dependent on what you put into them or, what, you know, what the music is. Not so much the amplifier, but what is the music, you know? A few things will show up their shortcomings. But as I say, they're initially very impressive. So I'd say you've got to kind of watch it with these. 
because if you heard them as a demonstration somewhere, and I would include myself in this, I'd probably walk away and think, God, that sounded good, you know? But having lived with these for a while, they're better with power. I'm definitely giving you that, yeah? This is definitely true. But having lived with these for a while, I'm still, you know, I, they just don't, they don't get me. They don't give me the magic. They don't make me feel, they don't make me smile. They just do this technical thing. I mean, you might like, you know, listening to the fine details of music. Uh, this will be really good for that. I mean, really a lot of detail, you know. You know. In that regard, you've got to say they're, they're very, you know, there's, that's where the sophistication or the technology is delivering. Let me say this. So I listened to a lot of Alison Krauss for these. And, you know, I, I, I found myself listening to the guitars and the finger picking and the banjos kind of more than the voice, you know, kind of more than the voice. And uh, just for a bit of uh, compare and contrast, so this is LS, uh, LS35A. This is actually, both of those are Kef drivers, ironically. I mean, this is about 30 years old, at least, these speakers. Um, when I listen to these, and they're quite expensive, by the way. When I listen to these, I just got, uh, suddenly the voice was just this lone female voice in the middle. And those guitars and the things at the side were a bit quieter. They were just a bit quieter. And I just found myself tuning into the voice more. And for me, I was enjoying that more. You know, I was enjoying that more. Um, I, I thought one really mad thing, which I will put in, well, I was actually thinking I shouldn't say this, right? But I thought it's like this, right? If, I, if someone came around my house and I wanted to impress them quickly, I'd play these speakers and they'd go, wow, that's good, yeah? If I had, if I had uh, you know, uh, if I was lazing around all Sunday with my girlfriend, say, I wouldn't, I'd be listening to those and not those, because we'd have a better time, <laughs> you know what I mean? We'd have a better time with these or a couple of other speakers that I have. But it's just kind of more relaxing. They're just getting me, me, all analytical. And the bass is there, but when that bass doesn't give me the note, I kind of feel a bit, you know, it's a bit of, a, uh, you know, it's a bit of a sense of loss when I don't get the, 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 the joy of the bass notes. But I am, you know, I'm getting big, fat, you know, fat, but, you know, pretty damn detailed, good bass that's hitting you. But I'm just missing the notation and I'm missing a sort of... Uh, ethereal top end yeah but in the middle with the power i'm getting real great detail uh and i expect if you had something like a powerful valve amp or a, a power a, a powerful pre a power amp and a, then a, a valve preamp yeah you might get these sounding really you know you might just tweak them into the make him sound good, you know. But they're like, you know, uh, what can I say? What can I say? I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. All I say is they're kind of technically good. I don't love them. And actually people that have been around here, no one has liked them that much. No one has liked them, to be honest. No one's gone, those are great. But I haven't, didn't have the, enough power with them. I think they, you know, they do sound good with power. That is important. Uh, just just not getting me that's all i can say that's all i can say about it after all the detail i've put there but uh, just don't get me and don't kind of relax me yeah okay so this was a re-review of the kef ls50 uh, i should also point out i've reviewed these before the ls35a and i would say in you know in between that i reviewed them and now They've probably gone a little bit up in my estimation. Yeah, I do like these. They, I go back to these speakers a lot. I mean, they're famous and expensive, if you don't know. But uh, if anything, I'd like to up my previous review a teeny bit of these. 
just time tells, you know. It's interesting how some things just take a lot of time before you, you land up realising, oh, these are the ones I want, you know, and they just land up being played more and other ones don't. Okay, that's about it. Uh, so Stereo View X, lots of reviews, amps, speakers, tips uh, on my channel. Okay, thanks very much. Bye for now.